Cool, I'm Jeremy, and today I am at the TRQ Research and Development Facility. And today I want to talk to you about mirrors, because every mirror is a little bit different to remove, but I can give you some general tips that will kind of cover all your bases on all mirrors. Um, it's not going to be perfect for every car, but it'll be, you know, in the ballpark. So let's get started. Each car is going to have a different method of removing the mirror, but they all kind of have a general, uh, some general guidelines that I think will help you out. On some vehicles, they'll have a triangle right here, and you can see it's separated from the door panel, where you can just pop off this triangle, and then you have access to the bolts and the wiring that hold the mirror onto the door. If you don't have this triangle here, um, you may have to remove the whole door panel to access that. The other thing that you may run into is you may have this triangle here, but then the wiring to the mirror may be down behind your door or door panel. So these are some things to look for before you even get started. Figure out what kind of door panel you, you have and where your bolts are and your wiring, are for, or wiring is for your mirror. Each door panel has a variety of screws and clips that hold it on. And these screws and clips can be hidden in a bunch of different places. Uh, one place is down here by the window switch. Sometimes you have hidden screws at the bottom of, uh, of your door poles. You can see I've removed this one. Um, sometimes they'll be hidden behind door uh, handles. And sometimes they'll be surrounding uh, the door panel itself. You may also find it behind uh, little lights and a variety of other places. So once you pull out all of, this, all of the hidden screws on your door, then the door panel will, will either pull straight off or it'll pull up. So I'll show you what the back side looks like. So some door panels, you'll have to remove the window switches before you can actually pull the panel off. This is one of them. In this case, we have a mirror switch that we'll have to disconnect. And then you can just kind of pull the door panel off. A lot of interior door handles have cables that go to them that go from the handle itself down to the lock. And most of them work like this. It's just like, it's actually a lot like a bicycle brake cable. And it clips into the door panel and then it has a little end on it that slides into the door handle itself. So it's very easy to remove. You usually don't re require any tools to actually remove it. Again, we have some additional clips. You just push the tab on these to release them. And at that point, you can kind of have your door panel off. You can see these are the types of clips that you're going to find on door panels. They're just, they just push straight into the door. Another option is the kind that is like a hook downward. And in that case, you have to lift the door panel straight up to get it off of the door itself. With the door panel off, you may have some wiring that unclips right at the mirror itself. Or you may have wiring that actually runs down into the door panel down here somewhere and goes to your window switches. So that will sort of uh, define how much work you have to do in this area. In this case, it's about as easy as it can be with just unplugging this connector here. And at that point, you can remove the three or sometimes four bolts that hold it on and then pull the mirror right off the car. So that about wraps up what it takes to remove a mirror generally on a car. You'll find your car maybe a little bit different with the size of the screws or where the connectors are, but generally this is what it takes to remove a mirror. So, if you're looking for mirrors for your car, find the TRQ brand because you know you can count on the quality and the fit and finish is just like the original. So hopefully that helps you out. We'll see you next time.